Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Maya Rodale, and I'm a Regency romance author, and I'm here with Eloisa James, another Regency Hello. romance author, one of my favorites. And we're going to talk about an exciting new trend in romance, uh, American heroines taking over the Regency. Because we both wrote that exact same <laughs> plot as it happens. I wrote mine in London, and you were in New York. I was in New York. We did not coordinate. No, but we ended up with surprisingly similar details, although our heroines are very different. They're very different, but they struggle with the same sense of fitting in, I think. Yeah, I think it's something that we all feel, right? But it, it, for a Regency romance author, it's so much fun to put it in terms of different countries. So because mm -hmm. we always, you've written so many English heroines and so have I, but you know, we're American. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to put an American in a ballroom and have her make some mistakes. Both of our heroines come from America and they're both quite young in a way and naive. And so they, they encounter this society and they're, they're both really feisty and they're both shocked. Mm -hmm. and, that was interesting as a subtext to the whole thing. You say, look how sort of cultural groups go crazy when you have an outsider, right? Yeah, and I think they're very innately confident with themselves, but then they are confronted with English high society with so many rules you can never keep track of that don't often make sense, like why morning calls happen in the afternoon. Right. But I think it's interesting that Maya's heroine keeps a diary, and she's, she's going to make herself into a lady. And mine is keeping a list, and she's going to make herself <laughs> into a perfect lady. And at some point, both of them realize this is just not going to happen. Not gonna happen. They're, they're a disaster, socially speaking. Luckily, they marry up anyway. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. We both have a similar scene in which the heroine, the, the hero, meets the heroine, and she treats him like, a regular person. She looks in his eyes, she speaks to him, she doesn't paw, you know, grovel at his feet and say, please marry me, or any of that, mm -hmm. because she's, she actually doesn't feel any of that. And it's very refreshing, and they both get kind of knocked out of shape. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, she talks it's a fun to scene. a duke like he's a human. Right. That doesn't and neither one of them can get over that. Right. Even though the heroines are not interested in them. I think that's another really delicious thing that I love, <laughs> is that both these dukes meet these bumptious Americans who are not interested, in love with other people, not interested. And I think that's a shock for them, too. It is, and they're in love with the brothers. Yeah. The, my um, Darcy hero is, of course, brooding and really horrified by the outspoken American. So she falls in love with his younger brother, which is a similar thing to yours. My younger brother is a bit nicer than I know. Yours. Your younger brother is charming and lovely. So charming. Mine's not. <laughs>